How did this movement, for lack of a better word, uh, come about and what was their aim? Well, uh, the flatulence are really misunderstood, I believe. And there, there mm-hmm. has been some new research or new evidence that has emerged in the past few decades about the flagellants. That's really quite interesting. Uh, you know, the typical popular image of the flagellants is, as you mentioned, a, a radical, you know, crazed group um, that talked about the end of the world and that whipped themselves into a frenzy and inspired a uh, frenzied response from onlookers. Um, you know, very emotional and uh, out of control. The reality is that flagellants were very choreographed. They were very, very organized and they were very, um, they were trying to elicit a specific response. I I mean, these were not, (laughs) these were not just ragtag bunch of, of people going around whipping themselves. This is very regimented, very controlled, um, you know, very orderly, in fact. And wh- one of the reasons why I say that is that we have a, a new piece of evidence that has emerged, first emerged in 2003, which is called a flagellant scroll. This, this comes from the Low Countries. Uh, and this was a scroll that's only three and a half inches wide, three and a half inches wide and eight feet long. And it consists of four strips of parchment sewn together and it was tightly rolled up into a ball meant to be carried in a pouch. <clears throat> and this I'm can- sorry, I, I, I think in centimeters and meters and stuff like okay. I'm, I'm, my American <laughs> you know, system is a bit hazy. So, you know, three and a half inches. I don't know how that yeah. how that translates into centimeters. But, you know, it's, okay. it's like, you know, you said three and a half inches. Yeah, Three. so uh, uh, you're talking about a a very narrow strip of parchment here. <laughs> All right, so that's eight point eight nine centimeters. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we you know, uh, this was designed to be uh, portable to be carried from town to town. So the, a flatulent company would go from town to town, and they would take out the scroll and read from it. And they had the whole liturgy or ritual on that scroll. So this scroll was, was, you know, this liturgy, this ritual was very choreographed, was very regimented. Okay. So when they came to town, they would procession to town two by two. And then they would form a circle in the market square of the city that they came to. And um, then at a certain, um, uh, at a certain point in the, they would sing a song. Uh, you know, a, a, a song about the, the the passion or the crucifixion of Christ, and the flatulents saw themselves as imitating that passion. They they were shedding their blood, just as Christ has shed His blood for all humankind. And the idea is that by whipping themselves, by shedding their blood, they would appease God's wrath and save everyone from the Black Death. And that's why. Flagellants were very popular and welcomed in town after town. And they usually arrived... Because they, they, they actually, they had a little performance exactly. that they made and performed. This is a performance, a, a ritual performance that was performed two to three times a day for 33 and a half days. That's how long the flagellants pledged to be part of a company, for 33 and a half days. By legend, that was how long Christ lived, for 33 and a half years. So that's why 33 and a half days. So they, but they were actually whipping themselves, right? At certain points, they were. They weren't whipping themselves all the time, but only at certain points in the song. When, these, when it said, for example, now flail, now flail yourself for Christ's honor, they would whip themselves, okay? But it was only it was for not very long, and it was only at certain points in the ritual. And then they would fall flat on the ground in the shape of a cross. Uh, you know, now, uh, you know, you know, now that there would be a point at the song uh, where we, 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 we all crosswise fall, they would say, and they all fell down in the state of the cross, prostrate themselves on the ground, and then rise up and whip themselves again. And they did that three times. Uh, so that was is very organized, very ritualized. Uh, so it was not spontaneous at all. And uh, the, so more like a dance, like a highly choreographed dance routine, exactly. Than a spontaneous mob whipping, exactly. Yeah, whipping themselves. I mean, that's okay. the evidence of this flagellant scroll. 
they actually had notation when they had to fall to the ground in the shape of crosses marked on the scroll. So, um, you know, the evidence indicates that this was very, very choreographed, very organized. And the whole idea behind it was to, um, you know, by this performance to make the plague go away or prevent it from coming. I mean, usually the evidence is that flagellants came to towns before the plague arrived. So the hope was that, you know, if the flagellants perform the ceremony here, plague won't come. So that's why they were very popular, why they were welcomed with open arms by people. And uh, it was, instead of being, um, you know, uh, uh, preaching the end of the world, they were preaching salvation. You know, we're going to save you from the from the death, from the black death. So uh, that was the hope. Um, so, you know, it was actually a very hopeful message rather than a message of doom and the end of the world. So, uh, you know, that's why the flagellants were so popular. And, you know, that's very contrary to the popular image. They also, uh, what's interesting about the flagellants too, is that they had a, a rule for, for each company. Each company had a rule to live by. For example, um, you know, people had to get permission of a priest in order to join the flagellants. Um, and they had to uh, pledge to be part of the company for 33 and a half days, as I mentioned. They, they couldn't whip themselves to the point of death and so on and so on. So they had all these rules. And, and it seems clear that the idea was that this would become a, a kind of confraternity or a kind of monastic order that perhaps would live on beyond the Black Death. But of course, it was all shut down by the Pope on October 20th of 1349 when he suppressed the flagellants.